standing here on a ridge line where the regular cavalry monuments to the Army of the Thomas Cavalry Corps are located. Standing right next to the monument to the 6th United States Cavalry, the rest of the uh, regiments of the brigade have their monuments also on this ridge line. We also have the monument to Captain William Montrose Graham's battery K 1st U.S. Artillery here, which is a horse artillery battery that served with Wesley Merritt's regulars in the fighting on South Cavalry Field. Captain Graham was a nephew of George Gordon Meade, and we are right alongside the old Emmitsburg Road here. The position where we stand is exactly a half a mile north of the proposed site of the casino for Gettysburg. And I want to talk about the reasons why it's a horrible place to put a casino, and I want to encourage people to do all they can to oppose building a casino here. This is a position that was the southern boundary of the actual national park at Gettysburg, but the battlefield itself continues south, and in fact, that position a half a mile south of where we stand here is a position where Wesley Merritt's Reserve Brigade staged up and launched its attacks on the Confederate right flank on the morning, late morning of July 3rd, 1863. Its staging ground, the Union artillery passed through there, the attack formed up there and actually kicked off there. Merritt had his headquarters there for a while until he moved up here to the ridge where we're standing right now, which is in fact inside the park boundary. Also, the position where the Eisenhower Convention Center is, where they want to put the casino, is part of the ground where Judson Kilpatrick's 3rd Cavalry Division had its camp on the night of July 3rd, 1863, after the close of the Battle of Gettysburg. This is all ground that, while it's outside the park boundary, is ground that I would consider to be part of the battlefield. And I can't imagine a worse place to put a casino than a half a mile south of the park boundary. It's also important to note that this section of the Emmitsburg Road, old US Route 15, is two lanes wide. And it can't handle the kind of traffic that a casino will bring. This part of the battlefield can't handle the traffic that a casino here will bring. There's no parking along here as it is. And when, if you want to visit this site, you have to deal with the traffic on the Emmitsburg Road. And if there's increased traffic here, it's going to become extremely dangerous for people who want to visit this piece of the battlefield. It's already dangerous. It's going to get a lot worse. In short, I can't even imagine a worse place to put a casino than in, in a, on hallowed ground at a place like the battlefield at Gettysburg. I think the Gaming Commission got it right the first time when they said that, that it just doesn't fit with the atmosphere and what the objective is of having this national park at Gettysburg. The first location, while it wasn't good, was better than this. I can't imagine a worse location than the one that Mr. Levan and his uh, people have selected now. And I want to encourage each and every one of you to do all you can to oppose it. The house that you see behind me was the house of farmer Cornelius Hoftelier, who owned the land uh, where we originally were standing, uh, where the monument to the 6th U.S. Cavalry was. The Hoftelier farm here ended up being not only the staging ground for Merritt's attacks, and not only uh, was the uh, locus of the fighting on South Cavalry Field, but the fields behind the house ended up being Judson Kilpatrick's campsite uh, on the night of July 3rd and into the morning of July 4th before his division receives orders to, to saddle up and move out. And we are, as we stand here, on a straight line to the proposed casino site less than half a mile, approximately four-tenths of a mile. This is, as you can see, some lovely property. Uh, it's very rural back here. There's no reason in the world to put a casino anywhere near this property.